Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales. And we are here with Sparrow, our hunter, who is currently trying to uh, take down this elk calf. So he's managed to single out one that's pretty low on health, you can see. But now he's got to actually separate it and manage to take it down. He's halfway through the animals that he needs to bring down. He just has to bring down an elk and a moose. And uh, an elk calf is a good way to start off. Okay, where is the mother? Oh, she's behind me. She circled me. That's not good. That's not what I was hoping for. We want to try to avoid taking as much damage as we can here. So we've got it down about halfway. Looks like the extra health is helping. So he actually has his stats shifted a little bit. He's got lower stamina in exchange for higher health. And that seems to be doing him some favors here because he's barely down. Hello, Mr. Trash Truck, you return. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is just gonna be a thing, ain't it? Um, yeah, we're going to continue here. Sparrow doesn't have to worry about trash trucks, at least. I don't think there have been here any, any here in Lost River for a very long time. Might be one broken down somewhere. Actually, I don't know. Is there a trash truck? What am I hearing? Is this just hunt music, or is there a predator? All right, oh, not in the river. Oh gosh, okay, this is gonna be a problem. Um, well, I guess we're swimming across. We don't wanna lose track of it. And it looks like the whole herd has decided to take off to the opposite side of the lake here. That's frustrating. Not, um, not, not an impossible thing to deal with by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a little bit irritating. Because, my goodness, look at look at the elk swimming. It is the great elk swim. They are all crossing the lake here. And they are taking the long way across. Well, uh, this is where persistence pays off, I think. Are we... We lose stamina for swimming, huh? I think a little bit. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, we do lose a little stamina. And I don't think if we bite, I don't think we can manage to do that. No, we can't bite in the water. That makes sense. But I was just curious if we could try... The mother is right here, too, so we're really not going to have a chance to do that eat when we get out on the shore, either. It's going to... Did that eagle just grab a fish right out of the water there? I think it might have. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a bit... Okay, there we go. We've, we've gained a little ground. The mother's going to be right after us. Oh, and that didn't help, either. We've got... Oh, there's a moose up there. So Sparrow does have to take down a moose, but something tells me that going after a bull is probably not his best bet. Um, we, we found out from the bison that, uh, we don't, the, the big, the bigger, the, the big, the bigger animals in this are pretty, pretty brutal to have to deal with. And so we're definitely going to want to, are they going to oh, right back into the water? Look at this. Oh my goodness. They have a bit of an advantage too. Cause look, you can see they can stand here. Poor Sparrow is still swimming. They're going to get away in, at this rate. Uh, they're smart to try and use their environment to their advantage. That's for sure. But poor, poor Sparrow is probably just, <laughs> he, he's, he's probably, he's, I don't, I don't think he's having a good time. He's all wet. He's just, oh, and he's getting smacked by the mother elk. He's had to go in the water repeatedly. <laughs> I don't think he's having a fun time with this particular hunt. He's probably rather ready for it to be done. But, um, and the elk are, oh, they've headed. Oh no, they went right back down in again! Oh my gosh. Oh, and she's gonna get us at that rate. It's just hard for him to find a good opening. The elk here are tricky. They've learned to use their environment to their advantage and even take advantage of some of these uh, man-made obstacles like the house and the giant lake. Oh, can we get it? Oh, we, we can, we can, we can, we can. Oh, she's in the water, she's in the water. This is a good chance, this is a good chance. It seems like Sparrow, too, is learning to take his environment to his advantage. And that was good. We're very nearly done. We've got about a little less than a quarter of the uh, calf's health left, I think. So, definitely getting there. Oh, but we're swimming again. <laughs> oh, poor Sparrow's gonna hate water after this, ain't he? He's just not not having a grand old time right now. But he he will hopefully have a meal by the time this is done, and he'll be one step closer to completing his challenge. It looks like those bulls are squaring up to fight, too. Alright, there we go. Don't lose it in the herd. <laughs> that would be very upsetting if that was what happened. But I think... Oh, oh goodness, and that's the mother, too. I thought the mother was one of the other elk. I didn't realize she was still behind. I'm slipping. I'm not paying attention to where the mother is. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Quick. 
quickly. Oh, no, oh, she's back. Never mind. That's okay. This is this is a surprisingly difficult time. Goodness. That's what I love about this game, though. Like, man, I, I cannot say enough times what an incredible job the team has done on Wolf Quest 3. Like, honestly, it's amazing. And you look at how far the game has come. It's been around for about 13 years. If I'm not mistaken, the first demo came out in 2007. And in the time that Wolf Quest has been around, it has grown so much. Like, we went from the incredibly rigid hunts of the early system, which is totally understandable. I mean, that was 13 years ago. <laughs> uh, game development was nowhere near where it is now, and neither was the hardware itself. So what computers nowadays are capable of handling, computers back then would have just straight up died. <laughs> uh, the average person didn't have something that was powerful enough to handle something like this. And even now... Computers that are powerful enough for this are only just starting to become the standard. I, I have a pretty good computer, um, but it's there's a lot of people who still are phasing over. Most newer computers could handle WolfQuest, but we're still just phasing into the point where all of them probably could. There, there's still some newer ones that couldn't, and there's still a lot of people with older systems, and so like even now, this is still very a very high-end game, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say here. But if you think about how rigid and similar the old hunts were, they served their purpose in the game. They let you hunt, they got you got you the feel of it, but whenever you had to hunt, it was kind of just this this thing that you had had to do after the after the first few hunts, there really wasn't a lot of variation. And so although it was a system that got the point across, it, it didn't have nearly the same amount of depth and detail that the new one does. If you think about how different the different hunts are, like even looking at this one, we've, we've spent already a good quarter of our episode just on a single hunt, and like, the swimming is new. I don't think I've ever really had a hunt that's taken so place so heavily in the water. Um, and that's something that can just happen in this game. Like, the elk just decided they're gonna hang out by the lake. Oh my gosh, this calf is really good at kicking me off, too. Um, but not all of them do that. Sometimes you'll have ones that'll never go in the water. You'll have ones where the mother is always right there. You'll have ones where the mother wanders away really far, and then you have a good chance to deal a lot of damage before she gets back. The hunts are so different. Even, even though it's the same system, there's so much variation within that system that it's just, it's incredible. Uh, they really have done an amazing job on this game, and I'm so excited to see what happens as it continues to develop. No, 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 get a good bite, get a good bite. Oh, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. She hesitated. Oh my goodness, she hesitated. If she had come right in for the attack, we would not have finished, but oh my word. Okay, so that's three down, and we're only in episode two. So, this could still end up being a pretty easy... I can't, maybe I shouldn't say easy challenge, but it could end up being one that ends kind of quickly. It depends on how soon we find a moose, I guess. So, we'll stick around. We're going to have to try and hunt. We have seen moose, but we haven't seen a moose with a calf yet. So, yes, beavers. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's one of my favorite things about this goodness. <laughs> oh, I had to go see that. Um, but yeah, perhaps what happened to Lost River really is the beavers after all. But yeah, so it partially depends on how quickly we find um, a moose uh, with a calf. We're gonna sleep on top of the carcass, kind of guard it from that bear over there. Actually, there's two bears, but I don't think they've made their way over here yet. So we can we can catch a snooze. We're about halfway down. We'll sleep through the night once again, and uh, then we'll start looking around to see if we can find a moose for the calf. So it could be that trying to find it in the first place is gonna be what hinders us. But if not, then uh, I'll let you guys decide if we finish this challenge really quick what uh, we should do with the next the next time. Oh, there is indeed bears here. Do we chase him off? Probably chase him off. Oh, maybe not. Nope, nope, nope. We have not chased him off. Actually, they are, um, very... They're very... Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, nope. They are... They're... Yep, yep. This is this is where we say I'm not messing with that. <laughs> um, is this... It's not morning yet. It's, yeah, I guess we'll spend... Well, 
You know, we gotta rest up. I mean, we're not exactly tired, but we gotta rest up a bit just to let our hunger decline. There's no real, there's basically, there's no real use to run around expending energy when we're already very full on food and it's getting dark and all that. So we'll just go, we'll just go chill by Beaver Man for a little while here and um, take a nap. Take a nap and see what he has to say. <laughs> Apparently not too much, which is what I would expect of a skeleton. So we will we'll take a little, little bit of a snooze and we'll sleep all the way through the night. I don't usually spend too much time running around at night. I mean, wolves don't, I think, have a big problem with being out about in the evening and in, in the dark, but it is harder to see, so I do tend to play earlier in the day. And also sleeping a full day will give us more chance to um, have our hunger decline enough that uh, we can actually go and... Uh, not gonna be funny. That's never not gonna be funny to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, after perhaps dreaming of beavers. Oh my gosh, is there, there's a cat in the donut! Oh my goodness, there is a cat in the donut. That's amazing. That's amazing. No, let, let me put the camera through the donut. I want to see the cat. I want to see the cat. I want to see the cat. I want to see the donut cat. Oh my goodness. We have to name him Donut now. He's he's wondering what's become of us. He's watching us, but he's the donut cat. I love him. Oh my goodness. The cats are the best part of this update. The cats and the beaver skeleton. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope some of the cats stick around. That, that I, I miss seeing the kitty here in, in Lost River. But that's just great. That that's, that's absolutely great. Oh my goodness. What was I even talking about before I, I got distracted by a cat? <laughs> um, oh, I was talking about, you know, I don't usually play at night because it is it does tend to be a little bit harder to see, so I try and play in the day. But uh, I don't think real wolves are as bothered by the night as I can be a little bit. And even, even still, it's not bad. It's certainly not bad, but... Um, it is a little bit more difficult. We do have some bull elk hanging out around here, and we are at the edge of stranger wolf territory, so we gotta be kind of cautious, but I'm gonna hang out at the edge of the lake, because that is where the moose tend to stick around. There's a hare. Well, we don't, we don't really, we, we want to save our, um, our hunger for the hunt, basically. What's up there? That's a mule deer. So it could be that finding the moose is going to be the difficulty, and we should be sniffing around too. I always, <laughs> I can't emphasize enough how important scent view is here. Oh, there's a stranger wolf territory post. Um, I can't emphasize enough how important uh, scent view is in this version of the game, and I never actually give it its proper importance here. <laughs> I always tend to um, forget to use it. And I really shouldn't because you really need it, especially when you're looking for something in particular. You really do need to use scent view. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a much more difficult time finding it. And we are having a very difficult time finding moose. We found mule deer. We found elk. We've done everything but take down a moose. But it's going to be probably pretty difficult to actually manage to take one down. Um... Because we gotta find a mother and a calf first, because I don't think we're gonna be able to man- Well, we're not gonna be able to manage to take down a bull moose, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're gonna be able to manage to take down a cow moose, so we're gonna have to take down a, one of the babies. And that means that we have a very low chance of actually being able to find one, because the circumstances have to just be right, just right, that makes it more difficult. Uh, unfortunately, this soup does not count towards our hunting goal. It's just there. We can sit on the table, though. I think we can sit on the table, at least. Yes, I'm allowed to sit on the table. If I fits, I sits. Yes. Can can have a nice little nice little look out. <laughs> I don't know, are wolves like that? My cat is always like that. My cat's always like, oh, this looks like a comfortable place to sleep, and it's just decidedly does not look like a comfortable place to sleep at all. Like, she's sprawled out over whatever book is laying around on the bed or whatever. It's just like, that does not look remotely comfortable. Why Why do you like that? But I don't know. I don't, I don't know how, how much wolves care to that degree. Do they just find the most uncomfortable looking of rocks and sprawl out on top of it? Or is that more of a cat thing? <laughs> I just, Shadow doesn't care. Shadow does not care. 
But um, unfortunately, even though we found some soup, that's not really going to um, not really going to help us with our goal. So we're going to have to set out again and see if we can find a moose. And this might be what takes up the bulk of our time is just kind of wandering around, which is fine because what am I hearing? Hello? Hello? What do I? Oh, it's bears. Hello, bears. Uh, I'm not here to fight you. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is a very curious wolf, so he doesn't really mind running around. Um, it's just, yeah, we, we. I hope we actually do find one. We've got a good bit of time to do so, but um, hopefully we're actually able to uh, find one of the moose, because that, that can be a bit of a challenge. It just really depends on what you bump into. We found more mule deer. Oh my gosh, mule deer to the face. Um, we have found quite a few mule deer, but... Yeah, it, it can be a little tricky sometimes. I'm just running up this way because I can't remember if there was a garbage truck here or not. We talked about that, I think, earlier. No, it looks like it's just construction equipment. Maybe we'll head out more to the wilder parts of the map, though. And see if we can find some moose over that way. Although I guess even these parts are pretty wild now, too. Nature is very much rec reclaiming what the humans have left behind. It's the beavers. It's the beavers, man. <laughs> the beavers did this. <laughs> Um, oh, we should visit. That's true. We should visit too. I just remembered there, there, there's someone here who we always want to pay a visit to. So perhaps we'll have to go visit her next episode. And uh, kind of, well, yeah, she'll always be there, but you can't exactly hunt her. And I personally, I wouldn't want to. She's she's too much of an icon. You can't just take her down. But we'll have to visit her next time because we are running a little low on time for this episode. So I'm going to keep wandering for just a bit. We'll see if we can find a moose, but I don't think we'll have the chance to start the hunt this time. So we'll have to end the episode if we do run across one. And yeah, we've got this road to the middle of nowhere. But um, we might see... And I don't smell... Oh, oh speaking of the trash truck. <laughs> Here we go again, folks. Gotta get that trash truck. Um, but yeah, we'll run around back here a little bit. See what we can find. If there is any, um, any moose back here. There's, this used to be a really good hunting ground. But I don't know if it still is. And this used to be a cougar hangout. Can we actually get in there nowadays? We cannot. That's unfortunate. I'd love to sneak into that house. Unless we can go through the back. Oh, perhaps we can? No, we, the game says no. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> Who am I to argue with the game? Um, we will go and check out this way instead. This used to be the big elk hunting ground. I remember you, we always ran out here and uh, would do a lot of our hunting out here, but it doesn't look too inhabited right now. The elk have moved off towards the uh, big lake, it seems, and are not, not chilling out here the way they often do. So... Oh, there's another hare. We've already hunted our hare, and we're not super hungry at the moment, so I'm not really going to chase after the hare too much for the time being. But it doesn't look like there's too much going on around here, so I think we're going to go ahead and maybe wrap up this episode here for today, and then next time we'll have to try and see if we can find any moose. I'm not really smelling anything either, except for a hare over there and a scent post and some wolf pack territory. So, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, I think, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.